Salam guys from Nizam Mubarak. My first actual fast. Yesterday everyone started fasting in my family except me because I was still on my periods. But today's my first fast. I'm so excited to fast. I woke up for Sehri and I just had like two dates and some water. Prayed and then went back to sleep. Woke up like I'd say five minutes before Sehri. <laughs> Inshallah we can make the most of this month. I've got certain things that I want to achieve by the end of Ramadan. One being is to making sure I perfect my prayer. Making sure I like take my time when i'm praying understand what i'm praying so these are like some of my goals inshallah i've also got packing to do because on thursday i'm traveling to turkey I actually meet the people of gaza which is insane tomorrow i've got a couple of events so what i'm gonna have to do is pack today because my flight on thursday is around 11 in the morning so i gotta pack early i'm just reading this quran it says the quran as revealed and it has like all the surahs in it the way this is written it's been written in the revelation order if that makes sense the first surah that was revealed that was written first and it just has like a little explanation of each surah i think it's just so cool this surah it's about knowledge of revelation raises the rank of a person and it has like a little like explanation of each surah al qalam which is the character and conduct of the messenger and then it has a little bit about that it's just so good i'm just about to start packing i just checked the weather and it's actually very cold there so i need to pack like jackets and jumpers i just wanted to say goodbye <laughs> right now i'm on my way to go get you know storage boxes for my room because i need to sort so many of my i've got so much pr alhamdulillah and i've got so many things that i want to just sort out so i'm just going to get a couple of storage boxes for that so my room can kind of look a little bit clean but right now it's just like so overwhelming just entering my room because i work i do everything in my room i work sleep everything you can think of i do in my room a lot going on so that's why i'm just gonna go get storage boxes my fast is going okay i just feel like i have no energy which is so normal anyway but yeah i just feel a bit energyless today that's the story you guys don't even want to see my fit it is horrible this all needs organizing this is how it looks in the end i think we did such a good job we're basically making like chicken wings chips so i'm gonna go with my sister to quickly go get a couple of things for iftar we've got like two hours till iftar and we haven't even made anything there's literally one hour left till iftar nearly one hour we've just literally just bought everything and gonna start cooking when we get inside inshallah, inshallah. literally in nearly half an hour i'm just cutting up salad for iftar nim's cooking right over there that's how it's going right now the skin looks really glowy right now now that looks amazing. Have yeah. we had chip? Yeah. Hmm. Very nice. Yeah, send it back. So today's the day I'm traveling to Turkey. It was around six, seven o'clock, so it was so early because considering I went to sleep really late. I was flying from Heathrow Airport, so it took some time to get there, around 50 to an hour minutes. Alhamdulillah, I checked in quite easily. I wasn't fasting this day because it's you don't have to travel, no, fast when you're traveling. I got to my gate, so we had like a three and a half hour flight to Istanbul. I used to be so scared of flying on my own, but Alhamdulillah, so ever since we're in Morocco, I've been so much more confident. Instead of watching a movie, I watched like a Islamic reminder, which I downloaded, I tried sleeping <laughs> and then they gave some pasta, which I did sleep actually. And then I had like a three hour layover. So what I did was went to the mosque and uh, prayed my prayers. My flight's in the next hour. I'm just in Istanbul, basically traveling to Ankara, children from Gaza have been evacuated. And inshallah, I'm going to go meet them. And I don't know how to feel about this because like these children have seen the worst that we will ever see inshallah and they have trauma they need the med the urgent medical aid these are children who have lost their parents they're orphans they have severe trauma they are in need of plastic surgery they are in need of so much alhamdulillah with the platform i have on youtube tiktok instagram we can raise so much money alhamdulillah right now we've raised about forty-eight thousand pounds and if we can keep donating, we can help provide them with long-term care. Not just like one-off, it'll be long-term care. Month of Ramadan, so whatever you donate, it is multiplied. 
and not only that these good deeds are written down and imagine helping a person that has been through so much imagine helping them i went to go on hot chocolate and then i forgot to record everything else guys i actually miss waking up on saturday i am in turkey right now and i didn't eat anything but i had i did eat something for dinner oh my god i can't believe that <laughs> anyways i'm gonna get ready today's the first day of the trip and going to be meeting the children from gaza which is i don't know how to feel <laughs> We're today going to be seeing, meeting the children that have been evacuated from Gaza. I'm also fasting today. Alhamdulillah, the fast is going really well. So we're at this toy shop and we're going to go get a couple of toys for the children. So I have two boys and two girls that I need to get presents for, like toys for. I've, I think I've got like for one girl and two boys, but I need to get another girl. I need to try and find like a bracelet. I think a bracelet type set would be really nice. Great. Something for you. Uh... Guys, we're going to be praying um, at this beautiful mosque. It's so pretty. And then we're going to go and give out um, the toys to the children. <laughs> we just prayed at the mosque we prayed Juma at the mosque and inshallah we're going to be going now to um, give the toys out to the people of Gaza a lot of the children so I had two I had two 10 year old girl and boys so I had to buy them a present it's so like bright my eyes are hurting go, go. this house when they got bombs with the helicopter. So slipped through the bottom. Yeah. You got injured in the leg. You got hit. Yeah. 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 Going. <laughs> Not like me. <laughs> I have to start again. Yes. Two years you know ago. What? I see so many of you. Yeah, you know, I used to travel the world and do like Jack Transformation. Yeah. Each country, but it's like. Did you download it in Morse code? Yeah, too much work for me. But inshallah, maybe. Assalamu alaikum, guys. I am in the hotel room. It's around 10 o'clock. I'm so tired mentally, physically and everything, but I just want to come in here and say I am honestly being there today, listening to their stories. It is just so heartbreaking and I want to do everything in my capability to help them. Um, Alhamdulillah, we've donated, we've raised nearly £90,000 in four or five days. Alhamdulillah, which is amazing. Um, yeah i just feel like what we have alhamdulillah we're so grateful these people have literally one of the ladies i met she literally we bought some teddies for the um children and she wanted the teddy so much so we ended up giving it to her um and she started hugging it she was i'm gonna pretend this is like my husband because she lost her husband and she was just crying hugging it and it just makes you realize that honestly these people have been through so much they've got trauma they need so much therapy because like they're in a they're in a hotel room there's kids that are just replaying what happened in gaza and it's just so bad for the mental health they, they are here in a safe place but obviously they still need money for the treatment they've still got family that are in gaza so heartbreaking but what we can do together as a community is come together and just donate and help these families out there tomorrow we're gonna also be seeing some more families inshallah and some toys out to some children as well but yeah other than that alhamdulillah my fast has gone by so well i didn't even i didn't feel like i was fasting probably the easiest fast i've ever had can you believe it alhamdulillah be fresh i'm gonna go shower 
and yeah it's just been very difficult today like my eyes are so red <laughs> Brother Malik is here. MashaAllah, these are the families that she met. SubhanAllah, that we will be supporting. Um, I couldn't really record much of today. I recorded some bits, but we again went and met some families um, from Gaza. It was so, so sad. Um, iftar is opening like in the next hour, so we're going to be going to have iftar outside. I am so hungry, but like I'm so grateful for food at the end of the day because there's so many people out there that don't look forward to because they have no food or they have like literally nothing but yeah being here honestly makes me so grateful like doing this work it's just yeah it just makes me feel so grateful i don't know where we're going and also we're gonna go pray tarawi today because it's our last day here so i was like do you know what would be nice going to pray tarawi um so yeah we're gonna go pray tarawi i'm wearing this really nice khimar i just don't like the fact that this bit is like going like that i'm filling it down from here yeah this is my outfit of the day we're just waiting for our driver to come to pick us up so we can go open our fast if is literally at 7 p.m i mean how an hour i know how, what, what is the time now oh my god we've got about 20 minutes left i'm so hungry <laughs> it's been a difficult fast today Tarawi at the mosque today it was such a beautiful mosque honestly so pretty it was just so nice praying in the mosque we prayed full 20 tarawis um because i can't believe this in turkey there's only one ayah that they read and i was like it was just so quick you know it's worth reading um 20 and it was just so beautiful really beautiful mosque as well today's been really difficult in the sense where like me and the families like there was this man we met his name was Rayhan and his son died from a bomb explosion and his head was off and you could just see in his face tears like you could just tell he's going through a lot you could tell from his eyes much i just can't believe i'm sitting across the table with people that have dead bodies like blood everywhere tanks bombs they've been escaping it but a lot of elderly people that are here for cancer treatment They've had to leave their families all in Gaza. Like they're here, but they're actually souls, their mind is in Gaza. They've got trauma, you know, like replaying every night they wake up and they have nightmares. Yeah, but Alhamdulillah, I'm so grateful that we've raised around 115,000 pounds. I'm so grateful. Iftar today, oh my fast today was so difficult. Oh, I struggled so much. Had Turkish food. Um, and then after that, I went Trawi. But yeah, these two days have been very hectic. I, I am so mentally tired. But Alhamdulillah, it's nothing compared to what the people are going through. Tomorrow, my my flight is at 4 o'clock, 4.55. So, and then I land in the UK at 8, inshallah. Move my makeup and get in bed, inshallah. But see you guys tomorrow. I need to actually finish packing. <laughs> but there's not much anyway. I ordered a hot chocolate because I don't know, there's something about hot chocolate. I ordered it from this place called Coffee. C-O-F-F-Y and oh my god, I ordered it yesterday, it was so good, so I had to order again today. So guys, I'm at the airport, I have checked in and stuff, I'm so early, I'm like three hours early. But I'm not fasting today, because you know when you're travelling, and it's quite a long travel back, because there's a lot of like stops and layovers, so I'm not fasting today. I've just ordered myself hot chocolate and a chicken sandwich, so I'm going to wait for that. So I got this chicken wrap. I don't think I'm gonna like it, but the smell of it's not bad. So guys, I've just made it to the airport. Um, I've just come to the place called Salt Bay. I'm gonna have this food here, um, and then inshallah board the flight. It's boarding starts in 10 minutes, so I'm literally sitting there. Alhamdulillah, guys, we landed in the UK. My dad's come to pick me up, and so now. Hurry up, it's like 9 o'clock. Salam guys, it is the next day. I literally just travelled back yesterday. I did the unpacking today and today I need to go to Selfridges to get a couple of things. The fast is going really well so far. It doesn't even feel like I'm fasting. I don't even know why I woke up with this like red patch on my face and I had to cover it with concealer because I don't want that. I think we're having chicken burgers. I'm not too sure. Yes, yeah, so I've just come out with my sister. She's just gone in to go get something. And that's kind of the story. Um, Ramadan means wearing a bias, always. You know how it is. Honestly, guys, we were walking past, and you could just smell the coffee and like the hot chocolate, and it made me like 
Even though we didn't drink coffee, it was just one of them ones where you just want to drink it. Yeah. It just makes you feel like when you're fasting, anything and everything is yum. Ramadan means listening to Nasheeds on repeat. This one's from Sami Yusuf, isn't it? This reminds me of like old days. Sometimes it just gets too much. I feel and a bio. Do you know what? Honestly, it feels so good wearing hardly any makeup, just mascara and eyeliner. It feels so good. Five o'clock. Iftar is at what time? Iftar? So the iftar is in about an hour, and we're going to be making chicken burgers for iftar. Time to open the fast, Bismillah. Bismillah, why can you make a jewel? Why? I have it. It's good for you. That is. So what we do in my family, we have a day. We open our fast, have water, and then we go pray. And then when we come back after praying, is then we eat, so we can take our time eating. So we'd have to like rush and stuff. guy was like he was like send me one like please thank you thank you very much oh you happy oh my god these studies look amazing they look scrumptious so another day in ramadan so i'm going for a laser consultation nims forcefully taking me for that she yesterday talk about ramadan change the subject my dad was like that you need to start eating something like actually something for sahri so i was like oh have to have something so he dropped me off cereal when he came and gave it to me at seri time so i had crunchy now it was actually nice nim crunchy now yeah I'm not saying it's not nice but i just don't have anything for seri other than water but i wanted to please my daddy kids so that's why i just had it and yeah it was actually good first time i actually had something for seri because normally i just have water <laughs> what are we having today for iftar ifties um beef steak instead for dinner Daddy, today, I think having... I forgot to set Bum's plate up. For dinner today, I'm making it. Let's bring a plate for third. <laughs> oh, you got it all wrong. Steaks today for dinner. Thank you. Yeah. 